One of my colleagues, Seth, once told me, Hey, dude, your English is so bad. You are such a poor guy. You are such a fucking loser. And I remember when he told me those lines, those lines hurt me, but they also kind of crushed me like this, like this can. It crushed me, crushed my confidence forever. And in that moment when he told me that, I felt kind of like a loser. I felt, yeah, my English is bad. Yeah, I came from a Bengali medium school. Yeah, my confidence is not high. So what? I'm a good person. But because of his words, I felt like a loser. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever felt like a loser in your life? Now that was many years ago. If you fast forward everything till today, today things are different for me. Today, people chase me to coach them on their confidence. People um, come to me, a lot of people, people from 17 different countries have attended the Confidence Speaker Conference uh, so far in order to grow their confidence, grow their speaking. And in fact, I'm a man on a mission. Uh, my mission is to impact 100 crore people in my lifetime to become more effective, better and happier and confident version of themselves. And I'm very fortunate to say that I'm the highest paid speaker in India right now. Am I saying all this to brag to you? Absolutely not. Look, I'm not here to impress you, but to impress upon you the fact that you can make the change. Now the question becomes, what made the difference? What made the difference between me, the guy whose confidence was crushed, and me today being asked to speak on multiple stages, on big stages, and help people like you become confident speakers? I'll tell you the difference. The difference between that me and today me is one thing. See, after that incident, I increased my hunger. Write this down if you're taking notes. Increase your hunger. I increased my hunger, my inner hunger, my drive. And I did everything in my power in order to improve myself. I went to coaches, I went to mentors, I went to many courses, I practiced, I trained, I got coached, I improved my power, I improved my voice, I improved my body language, I improved the, how, the way I looked, and everything transformed for me. So I'm telling you right now, Maybe you are in a situation where sometimes people crush you like this. Maybe sometimes people tell you that you're not good enough. Maybe sometimes your wife tells you that you're not good enough. Maybe sometimes people tell you that uh, you are not ready for that promotion. So at that time, when you get those negative feedback, when you get those hurting comments, instead of going to the bar and drinking, no, 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 you have to increase your hunger. Instead of going and sleeping off, no, 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 you gotta increase your hunger. Instead of wasting time watching TV, you have to increase your hunger. How do you increase your hunger? You have to invest in yourself, invest time, money, energy. You know, if, if people say that you're not a good speaker, go develop that skill, develop that muscle in order to improve yourself. If people say that your health is not good enough, and if somebody says something bad about your tummy, instead of being worried about it, go increase your hunger to improve your body more to run go go walk do something for yourself get a trainer man you have to increase your power that's how you deal with rejection when people reject you if people are rejecting you from a promotion from a recognition it's time for you to increase your hunger that's how I went from a lower middle class family to being a millionaire and how you can do the same by increasing your hunger so the next time somebody crushes your confidence by saying neg ne something negative don't waste time increase your hunger that's how you get the recognition that's how you enjoy a great life and that's how you become that powerful confident version of yourself that <laughs> That's my tip for you right now. Bishal Sarkar here always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection. It's all about connection.